You ever heard a sound like this before? Yes, I have. Yeah. That sounds like a spoon vibrating, because I have it hung on the end of a string, right? Okay. And now I have the other end of the string. First, I was holding it with my fingers. Now I have the other end of the string through a hole in the bottom of this plastic glass. See? There's a knot on the other yeah. end. Now I'll wrap it again. Listen. It was louder than before. Yeah, why? Well, because your fingers were blocking the vibrations mm -hmm. of the string, and it wasn't letting the vibrations just sp spread out so it would make a louder noise. Well, that's partly true, but now the vibrations are going all the way up here to the, to the bottom of the plastic glass and making the whole glass vibrate. So it's considerably louder. What do you suppose would happen if you took this ear and stuck it right there in the glass? Listen. It's very loud. Yeah, try it again. Okay. Almost hurt your ears, it's so loud? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, the basis of vibrating the bottom of a container like this is uh, the principle behind probably one of the most famous of all amateur scientist uh, experiments, the tin can telephone. You've made one of those, haven't you? Yes, yeah. sir. You tie a string between two tin cans and talk to people. Well, this is my modern inversion made of plastic. And it works better than the tin can because the plastic can vibrate a lot easier. And you know how to do it. Tie a knot in one end of the string, mm -hmm. put a hole in the bottom of the thing, usually with a hot nail or something like that, carefully now because you don't want to burn yourself. Yeah. And then you run the string and do the same thing at the other end. And you know how to talk uh, on radio phones when, you, when only one person can talk at a time? Yeah. One, you say over and mm -hmm. out and things like that? All right. Let's try Because over here, see over there is the glass. Yeah. Take it and go way over to the other side of the room. And I'll go way over on this side. Out the door, even. Now, you've got to hold the string nice and tight and, and back up just a little more, okay? And hold the glass like, can you hear me now? Okay, let me talk first. One, two, three, four, five. What did I say? Over. One, two, three, four, five. What did I say? Over. Okay, uh, if uh, anybody you'd like to call over? Yeah, I would like to call Donnie Chow over. Okay, if you had him on the other end, what would you say? Over. Please call it. Hang up and please ring again. You've got the wrong number. <laughs> You're a great tease. Over and out. <laughs>